In this video, we're going to be looking at the indirect function in Excel. So you're going to want to make sure you stay to the end of this video because it's a really powerful function that's going to have many, many uses for you. So hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, as we mentioned, in this video we're going to be focusing on the indirect function in Excel and just how powerful it is and useful when we want to really create some good dynamic formulas. Um, so what we're going to do is, and actually first I'm going to move this table just to the right hand side just to create a bit more space. Uh, we've got two examples we're going to look at. Uh, the first one is just a simple uh, straightforward example uh, just to show you how indirect works and then we're going to be going into the second example, what's the table you see in column G, uh, what has a, sort of a bit more advanced we call it, but this is where um, the second example is going to really show you the, the strength and power of using uh, this function. So what the indirect function does is it enables um, you to input or it takes a, a text uh, value and it's then able to use that and turn that into an actual cell reference or reference um, yeah, within a cell or anywhere in your workbook. So the best way to give that an example is as you'll see in this first table you can see we've got a number of um, numbers listed in column B so we've got 1 to 500 uh, down to row 9 um, and what we've got here is the actual cell reference for each of those numbers so you can see in column C uh, the reference we want to reference the first one is uh, B5 so you can see the value of 100 is in B5 and then so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is enter our indirect function to column D, we're going to input that reference value you see in column C, indirect will then turn that into an actual um, uh, cell reference that uh, Excel can recognize and locate and it will then return the value what's in that cell. So let's jump straight in. So what if we do our function, so indirect, and you can see here uh, as well, we, we probably waffly uh, explained, Indirect returns the reference specified by a text string. So we're going to ref make, or in most of the examples, we're going to be referencing uh, the, the string as in it's already in another cell value, but you can type this in as well. So what you can do is if you type your function of indirect, and then we're just going to make reference to C5. So as it says, this part here of reference text. And then all we need to do is close our brackets hit enter and you can see that the function has then looked at uh, the reference here it said ah okay b5 take the string of b5 convert it into an actual cell reference and therefore return that the value was in that reference so the result is really just the same as doing equals b5 and that's that's all the indirect is doing for us so if i just turn that back and obviously the other option you have as well is if you didn't have the reference then you just want to type it in what you can do is in quotations type in b5 because the quotations obviously identify that as text and hit enter and you can see it works exactly the same way we're just going to reference back in here again c5 because that allows us to quickly uh, copy this formula down so like that and then as we copy that down if i can select the, make the selection you can see that it will dynamically update for each one of those ranges. So if we had to change this one here and change that maybe to like six, then obviously the formula is going to update in the indirect and it's now going to reference the value in B6. So that's really simply how indirect works. The real power of it is when we're going on to reference other sheets within a workbook. Um, so you might have some more obviously technical uh, logic to determine what sheet you want to look at but the second uh, example we have here is going to be bringing in the sheet uh, in, in addition to a cell reference and show you how that works. So what we have in our example is we've got three additional sheets here so sheet one, two and three. In each of those sheets there's nothing in there apart from a single value in uh, cell reference A2 and obviously a header for number. So you can see in sheet one we've got the value of 100 in sheet 2 we've got the value of 200 and lastly in sheet 3 we've got the value of 300. So we want to use our indirect function now to uh, uh, construct a reference and then return us the result what's in that reference. So we can see that um, there are three options here. So we've got sheet 1, reference A2, sheet 2, reference A2 and sheet 3, reference A2. So what we're going to do is one other thing we have to remember in here and what I'm just going to do is 
when we're referencing sheets, you also need to have the exclamation mark uh, to reference, obviously, that you're looking at a sheet, and there's just full uh, features as part of the full reference. So I'm just going to enter that quotation into this uh, formula here. You could um, use it, and actually I'll step into that example to show you rather than explain it in a second, but I'll just bring it on here now so you can clearly see. So this time when we do our indirect function, it's exactly the same, so type in indirect, but this time we're just going to make a first reference to uh, the value in G, so G5. We're then going to also do an AND symbol, or ampersand, and we're also then going to um, reference the value in column H. So we can see we've got G5 and H5, and in essence all that's doing using that AND sign is condensing them together, so it's going to make one uh, long string of sheet 1, exclamation mark, A2. And when you hit enter, you can get the result. And this is probably beneficial here, is if I just do that reference I uh, typed in there, so and H5. So this is just the string, uh, this little form here, G5, H5, is just what we've got, obviously, in, in our um, indirect over here. And I'll just put that real basic form in there, just so you can see this is the value that is actually getting absorbed by our function, so sheet 1A2. Cool, so having add, entered that in there, we can now pull our formula down and you can see it's going to dynamically update and reference each one of those sheets. And also what we are able to do is if we didn't have the exclamation mark in here, uh, another way we can do it, and this comes around to building our strings, is if we wanted to enter the exclamation mark or just only have it contained within the formula, what we could do is do our ampersand, quotation, exclamation mark, another quotation and then the ampersand and this then just obviously just builds our, our string out a tiny bit more sticking that um, exclamation in the middle so if you hit enter now then it still works exactly the same and alternatively you've maybe probably guessed it by now but if you wanted to just type this in or you wanted any of this to be statically typed you could just type in here sheet one exclamation mark a two quotation and that would work exactly the same and alternatively, uh, this might seem quite simple now, but if we own, if we knew what sheet we were referencing, but we then only want to make reference to a cell for the actual uh, in column H, we could obviously then do our ampersand and make the reference there. So we've got many options that we can use when working with this information, uh, or this function in particular, uh, but it's a very, very powerful one. We're actually going to be bringing another video out really soon, uh, really soon, really soon uh, that shows you another great use of using indirect nested in with another function. So if you enjoyed that video, please, please do give it a like. Um, it really helps us out and would be very, very much appreciated. If you haven't already, do make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you are notified of all our future videos. And to make sure you are notified, make sure you hit that notification bell. Any questions you have, please just leave us a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Alternatively, we've got links in the description to this video, so feel free to reach out to us there and give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.